How's it going? I'm East Coast Pete. Let's have a look at some napalm death. They are Brit Grindcore from 1981. Mark Greenway, Shane Embury, Mitch Harris, and Dan Herrera. These are grindcore pioneers with distorted downtune guitars, overdriven bass, high speed blast beats, and growls and shrieks, short songs, and political lyrics. Although you have to read the lyrics to know that. The debut album, Scum, has a 1.316 second song titled You Suffer. And this is the shortest song in the world according to the Guinness Book of World Records. There have been 16 LPs. Here now is Nielsen's list of best selling metal bands. One, Cannibal Corpse. It's about 600,000 sold. Two, Deicide. About 500,000. Three, Morbid Angel. About 450,000. Four is Six Feet Under. About 370,000. Five is Obituary. So around the same figure. Six is death. Also around the same figure. Napalm death. Also around the same figure. Carcass. Around 221,000. And entombed at 198. Almost 199,000. Come on, Entombed. You can make it up to 200. I know you can do it. The top selling albums are Morbid Angel, their Covenant, Deicide with their Deicide, Deicide with Legion, Obituary with the End Complete and Cannibal Corpse with the Bleeding. Crust Punk, also known as Stench Core, is English punk. Punk rock combined with extreme metal, dark and pessimistic, political. I like to talk about the ills of society. Basie dirty sound fast tempo with slow sections in between grunts and growls and screams bands like crass and discharge and napalm death also include death metal into their show and their sound Nick Bulin and Miles Ratledge, when teenagers began as civil defense, the mess, evasion, undead, hatred, and sonic noise. I'd like to change their name. They became Napalm Death in 1981. They are anarchists. They believe that all of the problems of the world are the result of rules. The sound they advanced was a cross between discharge, possessed, and Celtic frost. Demos followed. Also, lineup changes. Drummers became bassists, bassists became drummers. You really need a scorecard. The second album was 
from enslavement to obliteration. And then an EP titled Mentally Murdered. This is not wholesome. These are not love songs. And this is not pleasant. Harmony Corruption, addition of blast beats and slower tempos, Mass Appeal Madness, it's a 12 inch LP, was even raw, which appealed to the fans. Mike Harris left, didn't like the new stuff. Danny Herrera replaced him. His drumming is considered Euroblast which is pretty odd, certainly new. I probably can't do it, don't know, haven't tried. Another EP titled Nazi Punks Fuck Off with all proceeds donated to anti-fascist organizations. Fear, Emptiness, Despair in 94 was another new direction with more groove. Vocalist Greenway left, but then he came back. It happens. So, grindcore is not technical. Is that correct? Here's a disco manorama. One scum in '87. Seems we have a drummer who insists on doing fills. I, I can't complain about that, people. Two, from enslavement to obliteration in 88. Very fast. Three, harmony corruption in 1990. It's got better studio quality, but it does slow down here and there. Four, Utopia Banished in 92. Is this like an industrial overture sliding into some heavier things? And I'm not sure I like this album so much. Five, Fear, Emptiness, and Despair 94. I guess you gotta be in the mood. Six diatribes in 96. I like the guitars. That's about it though. Seven, Inside the Torn Apart in 97. Looks like hardcore is back. That's good. Eight, Words from the Exit Wound in 98. And the vocals are not so hot, but the drums are pretty good. If you like drums, here you go. Nine. Enemy of the music business in 2000. The addition of polyrhythms. In 10. Order of the Leech in 02. More polyrhythms, but faster. 11, the code is red, long live the code, in 05, got two vocalists, and this is also very fast, 12, smear campaign in 06, smear campaign, that's what the Democrats are up to, 13, time waits for no slave in 09, before utilitarian, in 2012, it means that you can use it. Utile means hand. So you can have it in your hand and use it. Apex Predator. Easy meat in 15. It's got clean vocals. At least in the intro. And the next one, Throws of Joy in the Jaws of Defeatism, is not yet out. 
can probably see that in 2020. If we can get past this stuff that's going on, and maybe even if not, hmm. you know, I think these guys are a little on the left, and I don't mean the left-hand path, I just mean the left as in liberals, and I don't mean libertarians. Why do I say this? I don't know, I just, I just kind of get it from the way they look and sound and what they're talking about. One, this is a song. I think I forgot. From enslavement to obliteration. Did I forget that? Shit. It's got a slow, doomy intro. Punky vocals. Good at fast. Vocals aren't what I'd like them to be. That's me, though. This is a popular band. Maybe they brought hardcore kids along for the ride. How the years condemn. So, there you go. Napalm death. Napalm death. I think that's like death from a, a napalm bomb. Napalm bombs became popular back in the Vietnam War, they weren't really bombs that exploded, but they were bombs that caught everything on fire and burned everything up. Just as deadly, just as horrible. So that's it. There you go. I'll see you next time. Till then, take good care and watch out for those germs. They're everywhere.